Today, we're diving into the world of Stable Diffusion 3.5 and its latest models, including the 2D 3.5 large and large turbo models. We'll be putting them to the test and seeing if they can really compete with the well-established flux models. Stay tuned as we compare these tools and see who wins the battle. Before we get started, let's take a quick look at the official announcement from Stability AI introducing Stable Diffusion 3.5. According to the article on their website, the 3.5 models are expected to bring significant advancements in image generation, with improved performance, higher detail, and better prompt interpretation. But let's see how well these models actually perform when we use them in practice. We'll start with the Hugging Face Space, where we'll test both the Stable Diffusion 3.5 Turbo and Large Turbo models. Let's generate an image on each one and compare the results. As you can see, the output here is, well, not great. The image lacks the detail and clarity we'd expect, and the prompt interpretation is a bit off. Next up is Mage Space. We'll go ahead and test both the turbo and large turbo models here as well. Again, the results aren't impressive. The images look decent, but they're far from what we expected, especially compared to other models out there. Now let's head over to Civit AI. On this platform, users can either run the Stable Diffusion 3.5 models directly or download them to use on their own systems. Moving on to Tensor.art, which offers free access to Stable Diffusion 3.5. Here, we tried generating an image. But once again, the result is underwhelming in terms of detail and quality. And finally, we'll try Glyph.app, where you can search for the stable diffusion model right from the search bar. After generating an image, it's clear that the output is still lacking in the kind of detail and prompt accuracy we were hoping for. Next, we have cart.ai. While this tool does allow you to generate images,
The processing time is slow. And the final output is definitely not up to the mark. In fact, it's pretty disappointing. Now, let's take a look at GoEnhance.ai, another platform that supports Stable Diffusion 3.5. This tool offers a streamlined interface, allowing users to generate images easily. However, like the other platforms, the results don't quite hit the mark. While the user experience is smooth, the image outputs are still lacking in detail and prompt understanding, similar to the other SD 3.5 models we've tested today. Verdict. So, after testing all of these platforms, it's clear that the outputs from Stable Diffusion 3.5 aren't as good as their claims, especially when it comes to details and understanding prompts. Flux models still outperform them in both these aspects. To help you compare, we'll now show you a few images generated by Stable Diffusion 3.5, followed by the ones generated using Flux models. You'll be able to see the difference clearly. If you enjoyed this comparison or found it helpful, make sure to subscribe for more content like this. And don't forget to like, share, and support the channel. The links to all the models and platforms we use today are available in the description below.